Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda and Danny's in the background making an awful lot of racket. He's cleaning up and pulling fence and uh, we're trying to get it where we move the cows and we have a tropical storm coming in. Well, at Deep South, you know we do two of everything. So we have two tropical storms coming in. One to the east of us, one to the west of us. Let's hope we and pray that we don't take a direct hit from either one and that they don't join together in the middle and become a huge storm. We're out just looking around, seeing what we need to do in order to be prepared for some wind and maybe a good bit of rain. Um, not expecting a lot of heavy winds right now. Right now it's just prep time. And guys, let me show you what I found. I'm just super excited. Look at this. It's ready to be cut. Look how pretty. Isn't that awesome? It's a beautiful golden color. Probably about ready to eat. So I'm going to cut this one and then we have a baby coming here which means we can start another one. And we have a baby coming here means we can start another one. Our first pineapple this year at Deep South Homestead. That thing is about, let me show you with my hand. It is the size of my hand. So this is the size that you get in the store. I'm going to weigh it when we get inside. This thing's heavy. They're always really heavy. And look, it's golden underneath. That's when you know that you're ready to harvest pineapple, guys. Okay, we're in the house and look at this. It weighs almost three pounds. Isn't that awesome? So, our pineapple, we're going to leave it a couple of days and let it continue to turn, even though it's golden. I've not really seen one quite this golden, and I think it's due to the heat outside. Danny said he hadn't. He was surprised, too. He goes, wow. But it twisted off really, really easily. When I went to twist, I took something to cut it. I didn't have to. A pineapple's ready if it twists off, and it twisted off just fantastic. We'll be saving the top as usual to plant more. Our goal here at Deep South is one day to have at least 20 or 30 pineapple plants in our field during the summer. And we have enough greenhouses now to house the babies until we can get them planted out in the summer. This is my pomegranate. This one fell off. I had two fall off. I cut one. They're still white looking inside. They're not turning red yet. Um, I read up they should be ready in September, so we have a couple of three weeks to go because this is the end of August. Um, it has a bad spot in it, so I know it's not going to be totally like it should be, but I wanted to bring it in. I've been working with seeds today. I have my dill seeds here. This thing smells awesome. I'm going to tell you, there's no nothing smells better than dill seed. I had three echinacea plants and um, I've got a little bit of the petals in there with the seeds so but echinacea and I love the smell of echinacea I don't know just always have and I started working with the butter peas I got the butter peas done this morning all right my nice clean floors going away <laughs> I've got pears again that have got to be done this afternoon and we'll be done with the pears um, Sweet potatoes. This was a bucket Danny dug last night, so my floor is fixing to start all over again. I have my peas here, my cream peas that I've got to go through and shell out. I've got a whole bucket full of them. Sweet potatoes that Danny dug the other day. These are about a week old. Our spaghetti squash. Now, now that I know I can put them in jars. I probably will do a few jars along as I do sweet potatoes and stuff because they will can at the same time. And it is a process to bake them for a little while and then peel them. It makes it easier. I've still got potatoes we have not eaten. And Danny's got his seed potatoes. We have Cherokee tan pumpkins. We just started getting our pumpkins. And I am drying my cayenne. And Danny found one little tiny butternut squash. So guys, I'm super excited to have a pineapple at Deep South ready. We're going to give it a few days, cut it, 
and probably grill some. That is my most favorite way to eat pineapple is grilled. I love taking the uh, peelings and making the juice out of them. Um, pineapple is very healthy for you. And if you live in the South, it is worth trying to grow at least one in a pot or something just for the taste. It tastes nothing like what you get in the store. So thank you guys. I'm glad you came along today. Stop by Crazy Days again. Bye.